Welcome to Lesson 8 of ATC Pro. This lesson will demonstrate how to handle two arriving aircraft at the same time. We will be using a new facility, Miami, for this lesson. Let's get a new scenario set up on the duty desk. Make the following settings. For the facility, Miami. For the weather, east flow, wind 080 degrees at 5 knots with few clouds. For traffic, departures, set all to 0%. For arrivals, set commercial to 100%, everything else 0%. And for other, all set to 0%. For position, set Miami South Final to user control and all other positions to computer control. For the shift start time, set from your current time in day to 11.44 on Saturday. You can right click and choose from the previous times menu if you were running this again. When you're ready, click the begin your shift button. When the program finishes loading, go ahead and pause the sim to rearrange the pop-up windows and set up maps on the scope for our controlling session. On the COM panel, click on the TX cell and RX cell buttons on the fifth row, alpha, if not already on. You can close this window to get it out of the way if you want. Move and resize the flight information strip window and communications history window as desired as in previous lessons. Click on the range button on the DCB and set it to 30. Click on the place setter button and move the control area up to have better visibility on the screen. Click on maps, then airspace, then map 504, that's alpha east. Click on approach, then kilo Mike India Alpha, then map 227, that's the ILS approach for runway 9 and click Done. Unpause the sim and I'll explain what's going on. Listen to the briefing so we'll know that the scope is under our control. Miami Airport is VFR, running east flame. Antenna is 3023, three south, arriving runways, 8 right. One, two, nine, eight left. Okay, your scope. American 1774, turn left. American 775, in contact Miami Tower on 118.3. Good day. You will see in the lower part of our airspace two aircraft with the green Sierra position data tag. Click on each of them to quick look and see the full data tag. Pause the sim again while I make a few comments. It is important to realize that to be a successful controller, you will need to be able to assess a situation developing on the scope with multiple aircraft, make a plan to handle it in a good way, and put the plan into action without delay. It is also good to set things up to be as forgiving as possible to allow for unknown factors, such as a pilot responding slowly or incorrectly, or yourself getting distracted momentarily and not attending to a command promptly. That is, to create spacing and headings for the aircraft, so if you were unexpectedly unable to issue commands for a minute or two, the aircraft would still have a margin of safety in separation. For example, to not put aircraft on a collision course at the same altitude, or have one aircraft following another at the minimum spacing so that if the leading plane made a wrong turn, it would immediately cause a dangerous situation. To use our current session as an example, there are two aircraft who are headed toward each other, bound for the same runway, American 994 and American 1774. We need to make a plan for who will be the first in line to land and who will be next. This doesn't always depend on who is closest to the airport. It depends more on how to set up an orderly pattern of approach that always maintains separation. One rule of thumb is to keep separation by altitude as well as distance as much as possible. That way, even if something doesn't quite work out with the horizontal spacing of one plane, you will still have vertical separation. Then you can descend each plane in turn as they get lined up for the runway. For our session, my plan will be to have American 994 first in line and American 1774 second. 
I will be descending American 994 to 3000, the floor of my airspace, and reducing his speed to 180 knots. I will descend American 1774 to 4000 to maintain vertical separation and also reduce his speed to 180 knots. So they will be they will have the same speed. American 994 will be able to maintain his current heading until turning onto the final approach course. It's usually best to minimize the commands given to the pilot. American 1774 will be given a turn to a heading of 360 to create a 4 or 5 mile separation from American 994. Let's see now how the plan works out. Go ahead and unpause the sim. In a minute, American 1774's tag will start flashing, so I will go ahead and click on it to accept the handoff. When he calls us on our frequency, he will already be descending to 4000, so I will give him the command to slow him down to 180 knots according to our plan to have him second in line. Miami, approach good morning. American 1774 is with you descending out of 6500 for 4000. American 1774, reduce speed to 180 knots. American 994, slowing to 180, American 1774. Now American 994's data tag is flashing white and I will click on it to accept the handoff. Once he calls on my frequency, I will give him his commands as first in line. Miami approach. Good morning, American 994 is with you, descending out of 6,600 for 4,000. American 994, descend and maintain 3,000, reduce speed to 180 knots. Down to 3,000, slowing to 180, American 994. Now we follow American 994 as he descends and moves to intersect the runway Niner center line. Now we give American 1774 a turn toward the runway center line. American 1774, turn right heading 360. Turn right heading 360, American 1774. As American 994 gets close to the runway Niner center line and the grit T's fix, I will give a turn to the final approach course. American 994, turn right heading 090, report airport in sight, 1 o'clock, 1 2 miles. Turn right heading 090, airport in sight, American 994. American 994 will report the airport in sight, then we can give the visual approach clearance. American 994, cleared visual approach runway Niner. Cleared for the visual approach for runway Niner, American 994. Now we can give the frequency change to tower. American 994, contact Miami Tower, 123.9er. Miami Tower on 123.9er, American 994. Now American 1774 is ready for his turn to the final approach course for runway Niner. American 1774, turn right heading 090, American descend 0, 0, 0, and maintain 3000. Turn right heading 090, 3000, American 1774. Convoy 3581, Miami, approach Roger. American 1774, American report airport in sight, 12 o'clock, 1, 2 miles. Airport in sight, American 1774. American 1250, turn left, heading 290. 
American 1774 will report the airport in sight by the grit T's fix, then we can give the visual approach clearance. American 1774, cleared visual approach runway niner. Visual approach for runway niner American 1774. Now we can give the frequency change to tower. American 1774, contact Miami Tower 123.9er. Miami Tower on 123.9er, American 1774. Now that the two arrivals are safely handed off to tower, the lesson is over. Notice that there is a steady stream of arrivals coming to our airspace. When you are up for the challenge, go ahead and continue controlling the arrivals to runway 9 -er. Feel free to take advantage of the training environment and pause the simulation to assess the situation. Unpause when you have figured out your plan and caught your breath. As you get more practice and confidence, you will feel comfortable handling more aircraft at once and you won't need to pause. Another thing you can practice by running this session again is to try changing the order of American 1774 and American 9 or 94 so that now American 774 is first in line. What would you have to do differently to keep them separated? Good luck! In the next lesson 9, you will practice giving basic commands while controlling a single aircraft to gain more confidence with speaking over the radio. You can click the X in the upper right to end the lesson.